Good morning, you guys. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna get it straight to it. With um, <clears throat> I just want to let you guys know that this Candace Car confession or whatever is gonna be extremely vulnerable for me to share. Um, I couldn't sleep last night. Um, and those who know me already know I have trouble sleeping, but I really couldn't sleep. I was just up at like 3:30 in the morning, you know, and my mind was just plagued with everything that happened to this baby girl Toyin. Um. And just how, like myself and many other women, um, how as a child I was assaulted as a little girl. I was 12 um, <clears throat> and um, I wasn't protected then, um, the, you know. And then, um, <clears throat> as I got older, I was just dealt to kind of, left to kind of just deal with it and, and, and find a way to heal from that trauma myself. But then this year in March, I was sexually assaulted again, but by someone that I completely trusted. Um, someone that I never, ever would have fought ever, you know, um, someone who I saw like as a big brother or uncle someone who's like old enough to possibly be my dad like someone who I broke bread with with his wife and his children I love his ch like trust completely trust right and um against my judgment I had chose to open up about it and to share it with those who are in my circle to let them know what happened to me because like many women I was confused I wasn't sure like I was confused because I, I just didn't know what happened and everything happened so fast and I and just like I was back as that little girl who didn't understand what had just happened to her um and I do have black men in my life who against, you know, with all terror, I told them what happened to me. And, um, you know, I was, I was, I was met with what a lot of us women are met with, which are questions like, um, are you sure you didn't lead him on? Um, what were you wearing? Um, like just, you know, the stuff that us women get where the blame is placed on us. Um, and I had realized <clears throat> that because I, I wasn't any of these men's wife or I wasn't their daughters or I wasn't, I just left feeling like I wasn't important. I'm not important enough. Um, my heart just breaks because Toyin, she actually spoke out. Because one of the things I was advised to do was to report it, either report it or move on, you know, just kind of get over it in a sense, I guess, like just move on. Like it happened if you don't want to report it. And I want to make it clear that something that men don't understand, look at what happened to Toyin. She reported it and she was not protected. No man stepped up to protect this baby girl. And like Malcolm X said, the black woman is the most unprotected woman in America. And the fact this man that I trusted is also an artist, is a creative. And to see this man I still have to see him everywhere on social media, you know, and like to see him just living his life and to see him still doting on his wife and children as if like you're living a whole completely different life that people don't know about. And that fear as a woman of wanting to speak up, of wanting to, to say this happened to me. People don't believe women. Are, we are persecuted. We are dragged. 
and then we're just left with the trauma. Think about all the women that are just walking around with trauma, that are still going to work with trauma, that are still coming to set with trauma. Think about the women who are still serving, who are like toying, who's out there fighting for black men, fighting for black men, the same black men who I just, And how do these men who have wives, who have daughters, how do they not sit there and think, look at what I'm doing to this woman. Imagine a man doing that to the woman that you love, to the baby girl that you call princess, like daddy's girl. Imagine like trauma, nightmares, trust issues. Black men, I feel like one of God's greatest creations was making a woman. He gave us the greatest responsibility and the greatest burden of all, which is the fact that we have been designed and created to birth life. You men come from us and then you go right around and you take. I know, I know that this video is not inspiring or it's not encouraging but i just women we need to band together like we need to know that we're not alone in this that... why won't you men protect us we matter enough we are out there fighting for you. <laughs> I could have been joining. That could have been me. Assaulted. But then what if I was also murdered? I wonder how the men in my life who I opened up to about this, what would happen? Toying and spoke out and look at what happened. So for all of the criticism I received for not speaking out about what happened to me in March, for not speaking out about what happened to me as a little baby girl, my innocence being taken and invaded, you see why? We matter. We matter. <laughs> my heart, I just... I'm done. I don't want to... I can't do it.